I believe the greatest challenge facing members of the Toronto Police Service and police services right across Canada is how we respond to persons in crisis. Over 20,000 times each year, members of our service respond to persons in crisis. And these are very complex, difficult, and sometimes dangerous uh, encounters. And we want to make sure that we're able to fulfill our commitment to preserve life. In the aftermath of these events, I am required by law to examine our policies, our procedures, the equipment and the training that we provide to our police officers. And I believe this is such an important issue that I went to an independent source, uh, Justice Iacobucci, who was a man of extraordinary wisdom and credibility. When I asked him to look at our policies, our procedures, our training and our equipment, I asked him to do an international search of best practice and I asked him to make recommendations on how we could improve. Justice Yakabuchi, in his very comprehensive report, makes 84 recommendations. 84 recommendations that, upon implementation, will enable us to improve the quality of our response. I believe that they are excellent. I, I believe uh, that they are, are comprehensive, that, that Justice uh, Yakabuchi has taken a very objective and broad ranging view of, of the critical issues facing the Toronto Police Service, and I believe he has provided us with an excellent roadmap as we move forward. In his report, Justice Yakabuchi reminds us that the police response is part of a larger mental health system. And that system has many components. And, and those components include the psychiatric facilities that we work in partnership, a number of community support organizations, psychiatric survivors, advocates on behalf of the community. The, the police response is an important one. But we recognize that we work as part of a system. And as we go forward in the implementation of these recommendations, the report also recommends, and we agree, that we should do that in consultation and in collaboration with our community partners. And to that end, we will be forming a, an implementation advisory group, uh, which was, will be made up of individuals and representatives of those partners that we have uh, in the mental health system, including psychiatric survivors. Our goal has to be zero deaths. We want to make sure that wherever it's possible that we save lives. And so we will go forward with these recommendations with, with that commitment. And you know, when police officers join this job, they do it with the intent of, of serving. They answer a call to duty. They make a commitment to serving and protecting all of the people of Toronto. And perhaps no one is more in need of that service and that protection than persons in crisis. And to that end, the police service has to, has to recognize and acknowledge our responsibility to provide our people with the best direction, the best training, and the best tools so that they can fulfill the mission to which we have all committed ourselves to. We want to make sure as well that the people of our city, and particularly those individuals and families who have experienced this type of critical incident, know of our commitment and our resolve. There's a, there's a very important section in Justice Jacob Bucci's report regarding the psychological health and well-being of members of the Toronto Police Service and the support that we provide to our officers who answer these critical incidents. Every day, police officers are exposed to traumatic events. They go to violent incidents, they see people in crisis, and they deal sometimes with very dangerous and difficult situations. And when we ask them to do it with an absolutely unwavering commitment to the safety of our citizens, we have to demonstrate a commitment to them as well. We have already established a psychological services within our organization and we have an employment family assistance program. But he makes recommendations on how we can improve. And so we have a responsibility, as Justice Yakabuchi points out, to provide strong support to our members. And I think that there are lessons that can be learned in this report as we move forward together in the implementation of his recommendations that will improve the quality not only of the police response but of society's response. And I think we can all learn from the compassion that is so evident in Justice Yakabuchi's report. This, this is our citizens, our family members, our friends who are impacted by mental health issues and, and f who can find ourselves tragically involved in these critical situations. We are encouraged to work collaboratively together. We are encouraged to consult with one another and to go forward on this together. And I, and I think we have a responsibility to live up to that. And, and Justice Yakabuchi's report provides us with a roadmap. A way forward will help us all improve the quality of our response and to keep the people of Toronto safe.